We over here at the Georgia Guidestones. And what's written on the stones appears to be written in different languages on each stone. It seems to be eight different languages. I'm going to read the one that's written in English for us. It says, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving inter external disputes in a world court. So, that's talking about a world order. As was spoken about in the Bible in the book of Revelations. On the Georgia Guidestones, it's speaking of a world court. That's no doubtedly talking about a one world order, a world united. And it goes on and it says, avoid petty laws and useless officials, balance personal rights with social duties, prize truth, beauty, love, seek in harmony with the infinite. I don't know what they mean by the infinite. It could appear to be some kind of God. Of course, it's not the true and living God. Of the Bible. Then it goes on to say. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. So that's what's written on the guide stones. And uh, it appears. That the same things written on all the other stones. But they written in different languages. This appears to be Chinese right here. Japanese I'm not so sure I don't know what language this is but this is the Georgia Guidestones is definitely some type of depopulation blueprint they got some weird stuff going on over here they got some history on it over here I don't know how true the history is on it but this is them, the Georgia Guidestones. It's definitely talking about a one world order where it talks about a, a world courts. And uh, when it's talking about a world court, it's talking about a world order. Uh, a world united together, one purpose, one cause. United together as one. We are in the last days. And we know that the Luciferian government does some weird things. And they seem to do it in broad daylight. I think they do that because they recognize... How ignorant the population is. They don't do their research. They just go around like cattle. Grazing the field. Getting fat for the slaughter. Not paying attention to what's going on. Simple minded people. And the Bible talks about simple minded people. It says the prudent. They see evil and they prepare themselves. But the simple, they do nothing and they're destroyed. So the simple-minded, they don't pay attention to what's going on. They don't research. They're not critical thinkers. They don't dig underneath the surface. They believe everything their government tells them. They believe everything that the news channels say. You know, the Bible says in 1 John 5, 19... That we are sons of God and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. And that word lies in the, in the text. 
it's a Greek word that actually gives you the idea of like a baby that lies in the arms of its mother as the mother cradles the baby to sleep. So the scripture says that we are sons of God and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. So the whole world lies as it, uh, in the sway of the wicked one as the devil cradles them to sleep with entertainment, with lies coming from the television, with lies coming from the news channels, with lies coming from these false churches, these satanic churches, preaching deception. He cradles them to sleep. The whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. So this is the Georgia Guidestones. I wanted to show y'all this. God bless y'all today. In Jesus' name. Brother Daniel right there. Minister. Hallelujah.